and fun uh, and awkward selfies and magic camera moments yeah. uh, and a bunch of magical tricks for you to try after the show uh, with the whole family and a special showtime performance again coming up at the end of today's show from a professional magician. Yep, our special performance today is a someone is from someone who knows her illusions and her escape mm. tricks. Her name is Sabine Van Diem, uh, Van Diemen. Uh, she's performed in the London West End show Impossible. She's toured America with a show called The Illusionists uh, and we're really excited to have uh, her joining us later on Let's Go Live. Yeah. I can't get my words out this morning. <laughs> she is known around the world for escapes and illusions, so it's yeah. super cool. Uh, it's so special that she's uh, she's done a little something for us at the end of the show. Yes. Um, hello if you're watching live. Hello if you're watching back, if you're catching up with this at mm -hmm. a later time. Uh, shall we have a look who is in the live? Yes, who is yes. with us today? We have Orson in Bournemouth. Hello. Uh, we have Rowan in Cornwall. Uh, Toby in the New Forest. Uh, we have Amelia and Chloe. Uh, Zach and Bailey who are in Northampton. Hi guys. Uh, Mia in Harrogate. Hello. Uh, Willow and Aidan in North Shields. Hannah in Cumbria. Hello, uh, Charlotte in North London. Emily from Bingley. Uh, we've got Sam and Connie in Paris. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> we've also got Gianni in Harrow and Kamar in Bromley. Hello. And so many more. Hello, hello, Thank hello, hello. Thank you so much. It is magic week, so we do have our wands at the ready. Have you got yours? Mine is a whittled from Silver Birch. Yes, mine is a uh, cut. <laughs> from the finest plastic. <laughs> it is a ruler, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, you can't wait to put it to good use today. No, because... I cannot wait because today's magical subject is levitation. Ooh. We're gonna be defying gravity. Yeah, this is when something hovers, uh, it rises up into the air, uh, which is, and steady, witches and wizards like to use the levitation spell Leviosa. Let's see it in practice. Okay, let me switch to this camera. Okay, here's Ooh, the thing. Right, okay. Matt, we're gonna we're gonna test your wand skills and your magic skills, right? Uh -huh. This is uh some beautifully shaped glass and you see there's some liquid at the bottom there? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try to get the liquid to defy gravity to rise up. Do you okay, need a spell? I need your spell. Go. Okay. Liquidus Leviosa. Yes. Oh let's make sure we can see this. Go liquid. Go liquid. Go on, liquid. Move over here so you can really see it. It's going up. It's going up. It's defying gravity. What is happening? What? So it's slowly going all the way up and defying gravity. Now, hang on, there it is. It's on this show on Let's Go Live. We like to explore and explain the world around us. But sometimes we are not going to explain the tricks and the <laughs> phenomenon that we see in the shows. And this is one of the things we're not going to explain. We're going to Look, leave you still going. to try to work this one out yourself. What? It's almost at the top. Can you move your finger so we can see how the... It's got right to the top. That is yes. brilliant. Love that one. So we have lots of levitation spells for you today. But first of all, let's find out how you got on with your first magical lesson, which was all about making things vanish. Okay, um, first up, we have Jessica and Daniel. Uh, they had a go at making a camera clone panorama photo and they created it to make it look like Jessica is grabbing Daniel's t-shirt, which is really smart. That's such a clever way of doing this. That's yeah. super cool. If, really uh, like if you're just tuning in today, watch yesterday's show to find out how to do that. Love yes. that. Next up, we've got Alex and Ewan. They had a great time cloning themselves three times to make it look like they're holding hands. That is awesome. This is Ellie, who had to go at her magical panorama. She managed to include themes from previous weeks like Ocean's Week and Mini Makers. Uh, this here is uh, George and Abby. They made this colourful secret message that says magic. And here we have Elliot and Rayan. They managed to make seven clones of what? themselves, seven around their garden. So thank you so, so much for your photos. Um, we get all of the photos we use in the show from our email address oh, good so just uh, ask a grown-up to send them in to hello at let's go live gmail.com can you make it disappear thanks you're good. welcome all right um we have actually got an announcement at the end of this show we mm -hmm. want your magic tricks for something special but yeah. more about that at the end uh, onwards with levitation yes. now we're going to be showing you two uh, ways to practice levitation today mm -hmm. right the first way is all about using the power of air the second way is all about using the invisible forces of attraction. Ooh. In other words, magnets. Okay, let's start with a simple levitation trick that is going to use the power of air. Um, Greg, I think you believe what have what oh. I am uh, going to need because this is our thank you so much. Oh, hang on. Oh. 
This <laughs> is our golden snitch. So fans of Harry Potter or students of Hogwarts will recognise it as the third and smallest ball in a game of Quidditch. Which, if you don't know, is a very popular wizarding game which takes place in the air on a broomstick. However, if I use those magical words, leviosa, I can make it levitate. Okay, this is bold. This is ambitious, Maddie. Let's try it. Let's have a look on the close-up camera. Three, two, one. Leviosa snitch. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> look at it levitating. Aha. But how do I do this, you ask? Whoa. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Yes, we tricked you. We're actually using a hairdryer. There we go. All right then. So how does this trick work? Because what, what I want to know is why does the golden snitch stitch not just fly off across the studio whenever we turn the hairdryer on? Right, so the problem we're trying to make objects levitate mm -hmm. is that the force of gravity likes to pull things down. Just like that. Right, just yes. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in fact, you could actually be a brilliant magician if you were uh, living on the International Space Station, oh. because in space, gravity is often so much weaker. Uh, this is astronaut Karen Nyberg, and she's surrounded by floating fruit. In space, everything floats, even your hair, so you definitely don't need a hairdryer. <laughs> to levitate an object, we need a second force, which mm -hmm. is going to fight against that downward force of gravity. Yes. And a really good thing for that is a strong push of air. Yeah, yeah. So, um, in fact, do you want to show us how this works? Yeah. The so, hairdryer? And as, as tiny molecules in air hit an object, they give it a little tiny push. Now, what we're going to do is that the faster that air moves and the more air there is, the stronger that push. Mm -hmm. So when you put the, uh, the ball above the hairdryer, mm -hmm. all of that air that's coming out of the hairdryer is pushing against the ball. And it's enough actually to fight against that downward force of gravity and to keep it up in the air, to keep it levitating. Do you want to see it again? Yeah, go on then. Okay, here we go. The, the closer it is to the hairdryer, oh, oh, the stronger it is. There we go. That's it. And Maddie was hiding that behind the table. Oh, she's even going for a little tip. Oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's next level skills. But then how come the ball doesn't just fly out to the side? Why does it stay in that line with the air? So in the middle, straight above the hairdryer, you've mm -hmm. got really fast moving air, mm -hmm. right? And um, around the sides, you've got slower moving air. Yeah. So it's like fast moving trapped in a wall of slow moving. Ah. And actually um, the pressure is less where the air is moving faster. So you've got low pressure in here. And if it tries to move out, it's kind of kept in by walls of, of, higher, uh, pressure. of higher pressure. Higher um, pressure, slower moving air. Exactly. Ah, something for uh, something for the older ones just there. Um, so, you know, sort of making a ping pong ball, a golden snitch levitate on a hairdryer is really fun, but we wondered, can we supersize this? What works a bit like a hairdryer, but is so much bigger? Now, hmm. any of you lot watching who watched our weather episode with Meteorological Maddie know that we have something that we can use for this. Oh yes, get ready. It's a leaf blower, right. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna get a bit crazy. All okay. right, so let me turn I'm gonna zoom there. you out so you can see more of this. Here we go. Right, leaf blower. <laughs> Beach ball. All right, so exactly the same right. thing. This is going to create all that moving air. You ready? I'm so ready. Okay. And go. Yeah. 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 You know what, Mads? Yeah. This would be a great opportunity for the awkward selfie. All right then. Okay, so um, awkward selfie, put yourself in front of the screen, get somebody ready to take a photo, all right? And we're gonna try to do it with the levitating beach ball. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you all good? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Right. I'm ready, Three, I've got my magic wand. Two, one. <laughs> Bonkers. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. I pulled the cable out of the microphone and all the fun. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so that was brilliant and very hilarious. But here's the thing. If you and your family decide that you would like to try the hairdryer trick at oh. home, then please make sure you do this one with a grown-up and use the cool setting on a hairdryer. Hairdryers are electrical and they can get super hot. So best to do that one with a grown-up. 
Okay, right, on for our next levitation trick. Yeah. Uh, we're going to stick with the power of air. Mm -hmm. um, we often like to think of witches and wizards as flying around on broomsticks yeah. through the air, right? Flying through the night sky. Yeah, but here's the thing. The uh, ancient magical community in Persia, it's in the Middle East, they, uh, they didn't use broomsticks. Instead, they uh, travelled by carpet, magical flying carpet, which is sensible, really, because I reckon it would be way, way more comfortable to uh, fly on a carpet oh, than yeah. on a broomstick. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> so you can actually make your own magical flying carpet yourself. Here is ours. Look at them. Oh, okay, all right. Should we show you how they work? Yeah, let's show them how they work. All, all right, right, then. So. so. I'm going to move it down here. Actually, if I just Zoom move out. you out a little bit, then you'll be able to see them on the table. Ooh, yeah, nice. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, great. Let's and do it. Okay. <laughs> coming to you, coming to you. Nice. Oh, oh, no, it's going to fall off the edge. No, don't make it fall off the edge. There we go. Oh, my God. <sighs> I've still got some juice left in mine. You have? Yeah. What was so, this? Here's the thing. They don't exactly fly, but they definitely hover you could call these uh, magical hovering carpets and here's what it looked like when we had a little bit more space earlier on this morning three go <laughs> your own hover carpet all you need is an old dvd or a cd so grown-ups might remember what these things are remember what they were you might have some of those lying around um, and then we have to put on top of that we have put uh, a piece of paper that is decorated to look like a magic carpet and you want to just make sure that the hole oh actually we're on a close-up here um, oh, yeah, and you just so want to make sure that the the uh the hole from the cd goes all the way through just like that through the paper and then on top we have stuck a sports cap so something like this um now you do have have to be quite patient at this point um, because you need to make sure that sports cap is glued down using uh, like PVA glue or a hot glue gun if you've got it that would be even better and then you have to wait for it to completely dry because you don't want that to lift off. We did also play with some that mm -hmm. didn't use a CD yeah, and, and it is here. possible to do that you just got to um, really be patient with that glue so try mm -hmm. different designs see what happens. Yeah um, and then you make, make sure your sports cap is closed you inflate your balloon <laughs> And then you put it over the top of the sports cap. And then as long as the sports cap is closed, it will... Oh, she can't do it. The sports cap is closed. It won't let the air out. And then when you're ready to go, you lift the sports cap like this. And the air rushes out the bottom. Like so that. if you're wondering how does this work, uh, if you remember back to Space Week, mm -hmm. where uh, we put the balloon rocket on the washing line. Yes. Right? It's kind of similar. That was the balloon squeezing and the air rushing out the back and that pushing it forwards. Right. But here's the thing. With our magical hovering carpet, the air is escaping uh, from the balloon and it pushed downwards and it's mm. pushing the carpet up into the air. Yeah. But that push isn't strong enough for it to fully lift off. No. Um, it's just enough for it to create a thin cushion of air just underneath our paper carpet. It's like a bit of a pathetic rocket. It is. It and is that, like that a cushion of air rocket. is just like a hovercraft, right? Yeah, yeah, so exactly. A hovercraft works just like this. It's lifted off the ground just a little bit and there's that cushion of air underneath. And this actually helps it to move sideways really easily without friction slowing it down. Yeah, so friction is uh, what you get between two surfaces when mm -hmm. they rub together. If you do it with your hands, they get warm. Yeah. But because there's a little layer of air there, you don't get that same friction. So it's not losing energy, it's not slowing down as quickly just yeah, like with a hovercraft. You, you could make your own hover carpets at home. Perhaps you could turn it into a game with the family. We actually tried racing them earlier on. <laughs> Here goes. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> so you could turn this into a game maybe race them yourself try different designs as well perhaps you can make some little adjustments to make the make the, the hover crafts travel further 
Now, before we show you our final uh, levitation spell, mm. and then we're going to sit back and watch Sabine Van Diemen's amazing uh, levitation illusion. Uh, before that, we want to show you our camera trick. Yeah. We saw some of yours at the start of the show. Uh, this went down super, super well yesterday. So here's the next one. Are you ready for the quiz? <clears throat> Sorry, the <laughs> camera trick music. I am. Dance and knock. <laughs> All right, then. It is one thing to attempt to make a ping pong ball levitate in the air or um, a, a magic carpet hover with a balloon. But can you make yourself levitate? Hmm. Can I show you something amazing yeah. that I saw on the Internet? Please do. Right? Look at this. This is a levitating bin. What? What, what is earth? going on there? See that? The bin's actually levitating. And then when we were searching around, um, we saw that a guy had managed to do it as well. Watch, levitating guy. Floating. Oh, but that's nothing, Greg. You can do that. Well, here's the thing. I spent a lot of time working out the tricks of the trade, right? Mm -hmm. How to bend physics, yeah. how to defy gravity. And I managed to make myself levitate. You ready? Here I am. Yep. Levitating oh, in the park. And then that. because we wanted to show you there weren't any like wires and tricks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Here it is from another angle as well. Oh, yeah, look at me flying. There he goes again. But here's the thing. You can levitate too. So we like to call this little camera trick the lens of levitation. Oh, it was more of a nicer thing. I was expecting something a bit more epic there. Oh, sorry. Go on. Go again. The lens of levitation. There we go. Better? <laughs> Thank you. Good. You're welcome. And here is how you can do it at home. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was doing my sound effects. Here we go. Hello Magical Makers! Uh, today we're going to be exploring a magical device we like to call the Lens of Levitation. Now for this camera trick, all you need is a subject or something you want to make levitate. So for me that's Greg. Then you want to head outside on a shady day or at a time of day when you don't have any shadow. Greg, do you have a shadow? No shadow. Good. Check. And then you want to be on a hard surface, so something like a pathway or a patio will do. Um, apart from that, you want a camera or a grown-up with a smartphone and some water. So I have got a little bit of drink just here. I think we're ready to go. You good? Yes. Okay, first thing you want to do is get your water and make a small patch just in front of your subject's feet. You want it to be kind of egg-shaped. Once you've done that, you want to position yourself as the photographer directly, oh, it's working already, directly in front of your subject and get ready to take a photo. All right, you want your subject to stand with their feet together, arms down as well. So they're standing nice and straight, and then on the count of three, you say the lens of levitation and you take the photo. Okay, one, two, three, lens of levitation. <laughs> nice. We're coming a little bit lower. One, two, three, lens of levitation. Woo! Let's see how they look. Come look at this. Come look at this. Hey! Good? It's, it's really clever because you just look for a fraction of a second, you're like, so yeah. what? It's like a snapshot optical illusion. That patch on the floor looks like it's Greg's shadow, which gives the illusion that he is floating in the air. But it's quite a simple one to try, so give it a go at home. Uh, what can you make levitate? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Have you tried it? <laughs> This is a really fun one to try. So if you do have a go uh, at home, make sure you ask a grown-up to send us your photos because we cannot wait to see your attempt at the lens of levitation. Oh. There you go. There you go. I've been practicing. <laughs> All right, time then for our final levitation yes. trick. So as you can see, I have a feather in front of me. Now, using our magic wands and the right spell, we can actually make this levitate. Again, this might be something that students of Hogwarts might be familiar with. It is the Wingardium Leviosa mm. spell. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. All right then. Okay, three, two, one. Wingardium Leviosa. Yes. Wow. <sighs> oh hang my on. goodness. Hang on, hang on. Okay. To prove that there isn't, you know, a, an invisible thread between this and this, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put my wand... Leviosa. Whoa! <gasps> Once more. How are we doing that? How is this Hang possible? On, I can move it. I can move it. Do you want to go to close up? Whoa, okay, let's go to close up. Hang Hang on. On. I've Hang got on. the hang of this now. You might have seen Hermione, Harry and Ron struggling with this one in the film, and they're right, it's, it's a hard one to do, it's a hard one to try. 
So good, Mads. All right, let's explain this one. So earlier we used the push of that escaping air, mm -hmm. right, to make things fly and to move. This is a totally different force. Mm -hmm. This is all about the pull from a magnet. And that is the sneaky secret. If you haven't already worked it out, inside my magic wand here, I actually have a whole load of magnets like that. It is so it's sort of like magnet magic. A few of you lot in the live chat are actually like, hang on, that's not Maddie's normal wand. Oh, Very perceptive, it's true, correct. It's true. We were using a different magical wand because we needed to hide those magnets. Yeah. And then there's another um, half to this sneaky trick, and mm -hmm. that's what we've actually um, attached to the feather. Yeah. So let me show you this on uh, on the close-up camera. Show us the back of the feather, and you'll see there's actually a paper clip just here. Yeah. And now that paper clip is made of metal. And metal is attracted to the magnet, just like yes. this. Very sneaky. Super science. Yes. Super sneaky science. But like I said, this trick is a little bit tricky though, because you have to be careful that you don't just want the feather to jump to the magnet. That wouldn't look so effective, mm. would it? So there is another part to this trick that you may or may not be able to see. Well, if I go to the close-up camera, it's going to be more likely that you'll see that at the bottom, there's actually a piece of thread or we've used invisible line like fishing line there connecting the table to the bottom of the feather yeah and that anchors it in place that actually holds it in place yeah isn't that so much fun so as long as you keep the tip of the wand just above the end of the string like this the feather will be stopped from sticking to the wand super fun magnetic levitation uh it isn't just a trick that magicians use though no before we see sabine's levitation illusion let's talk, talk about some real world magic all right mm -hmm. we're gonna do this every day so this is a neat bit of science and tech that looks like magic. You might have heard of something called a maglev train. Well, maglev trains, they don't use wheels. Instead, they kind of just float above the tracks. You can see one just here. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. And this train uses magnets to help it move really fast and smoothly. So the magnetic forces are created by magnets on the underside of the train and also magnets on the train tracks yeah. and they push away, they repel each other and that creates a little bit of lift. Mm -hmm. um, and also because they're no longer touching, you no longer get that friction that right. we were talking about earlier with the yep. magic carpets. And that means that they can, tra the only friction you basically get is when it's hitting the air molecules here yeah. in the front and it can zoom along really fast. Yeah, so fast in fact. The fastest train in the world that you can actually buy a ticket for and ride is the Shanghai Maglev which reaches speeds of 431 kilometers per hour, which is super fast. Whoa. Yeah, over 250 miles per hour, that. Whoa. Very, very impressive. <sighs> I don't know about you, but oh. I feel it is time to sit back, relax, yeah. and uh, enjoy a bit of a show. Yeah, it is showtime. At the beginning of the show, we introduced the wonderful, wonderful Savine Van Diemen, who is here with her very own levitation trick. Take it away, Savine. Hello, Let's Go Live, and hello, Medi and Greg, how are you? I am Sabine, and I'm a magician, and today's theme is levitation. Now, I am going to show you an illusion where I am levitating on three swords. Do you know how this is done? Enjoy!
<laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sabine. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was an amazing levitation illusion for showtime. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? She's she's such a wonderful human being. Mm-hmm. She didn't stop there. She wanted to actually show you lot and us another levitation trick. Let's have a look at this Here one. It is. Now, if you want to fool your friends, you just grab one of the pictures that you made. And let's go. Let's see if we can make it look today. Now, if you want to know how this trick is done, just ask your mom for the ladle. <laughs> Just a ladle, some double stick tape, and one of your drawings. Ooh, oh, what do you think, everybody? Ooh, very good. So all you need to do is ask a grown-up for a ladle or Oh, or a potato masher. <laughs> Anything will do. You could use blue tag or double-sided sticky tape, but this one is super easy. You can all give this a try for sure. Nice. How great is that? How great is that? Right, that is almost it, sadly, it for is. our show on levitation. But before we float off, yeah. um, let's see some more of you and what you got up to with your vanishing tricks from yesterday. All right, then. So first up, we've got a great photo here from Fiona. Uh, she's dressed up as a magician and she's used water to bend her magic wand. Here is Dylan, who cloned himself four times, and (laughs) each clone is holding up a different word. And look, it says, let's go live. So good. Isabel wrote this not-so-secret message and used watercolours to uh, reveal it. And here's Idris, who tried the camera clone challenge, (laughs) always tricky to say, uh, managed four in the garden and four and a half at the local beach. All right, then. And last but not least, we actually have a video that was sent in uh, by Elijah, who is a master magician in the making. Watch this trick. Hello, my dear Rick. I've got this magic star and I'm going to put it in this magic box. Now I'm going to close the magic box and abracadabra. Why do you think it's gone? Now I'm going to make it come back. Abracadabra, come back. It's come back. Cheeky little smile there at the end as well. What a showman. Thank you. Thing is, we've actually been loving your videos so much that our special guest for our Friday's showtime is going to be you. So if you are a master magician, a witch or wizard in the making, then why not ask a grown up to film you doing a short trick and it might make it into the show on Friday. Yep, send it to the email address. Here is the email address. Uh, We would also love to, oh, careful, just if you just, Every time you flick it, it makes it appear and disappear. And I can't keep up. I can't, I can't, I can't keep up. Yeah, please do send your pictures to this email address uh, and also your magical levitation tricks from today as well. Send them. And we love seeing them on social media as yes. well. So do keep sharing them on social media. Can't wait to see some lens of levitation photos. Uh, who is with us in the live chat before we head off? Who have we got in the live chat? We've got Penny and Evie in Bristol. We have Abby from Winchester. Hi. Uh, we have Wilf in Crystal Palace and uh, Hugo in London. Sarah and Leo in Cork. Hello. Uh, we have Felix and Ezra in Wester Ross. Stanley from Deal. Uh, Alistair in Cheltenham. Uh, Felix and Ezra. Oh, you said that one. Sorry. Kit and Tally in Leeds. Oh, so, so many. It's yes. it's just amazing that you're all uh, just loving the show. Thank you so much. And tomorrow we have a very, very special guest mm-hmm. coming on to do a trick. Uh, the amazing... Yeah. Ben Hart. Yes. Uh, he has done a very special uh, little video for us that you're going to get to see tomorrow. Um, for our episode all about potions. 